All right, we're here with South Carolina softball associate head coach Lisa Navas. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the fall here today, but first I just want to talk about, you know, after the season in the spring was canceled early, uh, long wait between softball, just how good was it to get back out here with practices and, and game-like situations with these scrimmages? It was so exciting. It was so difficult to sit and do nothing for the first time in 28 years. Uh, from March on, but uh, so excited to be out here and to get back to our little bit of normalcy uh, and get playing and being with the, with my family. So big freshman class this year with, with 10 people, a lot of newcomers, a lot of new faces out there. Uh, for you, how exciting was it to, to get to see these freshmen for the first time after, you know, we've been waiting a while to, to see them in, at South Carolina? Yeah, it was really exciting. They're a very talented group, and uh, just to get to know their personalities, which uh, is an ongoing process, but uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun with this, this crew. And overall as a crew, uh, who, who stuck out to you? Uh, newcomers, returners, got a lot of different people out there. Who, who are some people that defensively really stuck out to you? Um, really just uh, – overwhelmed with the in general uh, class that they were more talented uh, athleticism everything and just a lot of fun to be around there was no one that was behind uh, everybody was right there with us and uh, it, they're a lot of fun a group I really like to watch is uh, the catchers uh, one because they're all competing but two you can see they're really genuinely cheering each other on and trying to get each other better there's no animosity toward this person's competing for my job. They're generally working together and wanting each other to get better. How rewarding is it to see a group like that with so much competition to still, you know, act like teammates? Yeah, I mean, we have a newcomer, uh, Chooch Carroll, and she has fit in very well with uh, Anna and Jordan, but uh, I've really enjoyed the process of Anna and Jordan from last year to this year. Um, really getting better and, and really being there. All of them are there for each other, and uh, they are a little goofy. And uh, But it's we've done little things, and they, they've gotten so much better. Uh, their arms are much stronger. They're just ready to go for this season. And staying in the infield for what seems like the 10th straight year, you've got Mackenzie Bozel and Kenzie McGuire up the middle. How much easier does that make it for you as a coach to know up the middle you've got two people with the type of experience that they have? Well, the biggest thing is that my jokes aren't funny to them anymore after being here five, six years, but uh, they provide an extra coach out there and they've been able to help the person next to them and explain things, or I should say translate uh, what I say to what they need to be doing. So they've been, uh, it's a blessing when we're doing ground balls and, and you have an example right in front of you of what we're trying to get to as opposed to what um, the freshmen may be doing at this point. So they, they really, it's been a blast to have them and they've saved me a few gray hairs. You know, I think we have options at, at basically every position this year, but especially the outfield. You've got a lot of different options out there. What, what have you seen out of that position group this year? Uh, we've added a lot of speed um, with uh, Aaliyah and, and um, Carly, and they just have really made a big difference in terms of um, going after balls, competing in positions, you know, to add to uh, Stewie and uh, to Katie Preble. And, you know, we talk about experience up the middle with uh, Kinsey and McKinsey, but you've got experience up the middle again with Lauren in center field. How big is that to know that center field, when a ball is hit out there, it's going to get caught. Oh, it's it's been uh, you know it's it's go catch when the balls hit there. It's a blessing for the pitchers. They they feel so much better uh, knowing that. But uh, they there's just been so much competition overall. We may be adjusting some people and uh, putting them in some different positions just because we're so uh, we have such depth. And and speaking of you know trying people at different positions, we've had a few players over the years here that you know they play different positions. We've seen you know going back to Kristen White, she played basically every position. We've seen Madison Owens on the current team switching around during the fall scrimmages. We saw Madison Gallagher and Riley Blampede and Carly Robbins kind of switching around. What does it say about this team that they have so much versatility to that? You know maybe if second base if that's filled, you can go put them over at third and they're they're playing just as well. Uh, they are, and, and it is, uh, it's at ease for a coach because you know you don't really have any big holes. Um, you know, it, they're, 
does take a lot of time to really master that skill at that position because there's some little things you have to adjust to. But uh, we have been able to move people around. Madison Owens, again, is still now she's looking at third base shortstop outfield. And uh, we've just enjoyed um, being able to, whoever's hitting, as we always say, is going to play in a defensive position. So we want them to be the best possible defender they can in every spot. And, you know, we talk about newcomers in the field. Uh, we've also had newcomers in the circle. What have you thought about the pitching group this year? Because I'm not always sure that people realize the teamwork that goes on with pitching and defense. It's not just pitchers throwing pitches and, and defense playing defense. There's, there's teamwork there. And what have you thought of some of the new pitchers? And obviously we return people like KK and, and Kelsey. Well, it's – We've had a little bit more time to work with the pitchers this year uh, defensively. And uh, as I've said to them every single day is when they are better as a defender, we are better as a defense in general. So they feel com confident in terms of putting a drop ball there to get a ground ball out, trusting their defense. But they know if they um, – do their fundamentals and everything in their area, we're going to be so much better. But uh, it's been a fun group. Um, actually, Skyler has been able to play outfield besides um, a, a, an extra lefty pitcher. Uh, and Leah Powell, um, she, she fields her position, so she does a good job. And offensively in, in these seven scrimmages, what did you see out of the group as a whole? A um, lot of power, a lot of speed. Uh, a lot of lefty options here. What, what, what do you like about this offense? Uh, a lot of lefty options, uh, something we haven't had in the past, but uh, they just really do a good job. And uh, they've been, you know, Coach Jackson's done a great job with them in terms of hitting the ball hard, you know, really understanding what their swing is and, and more tools in their toolbox of what to use in certain situations and stuff. So that's made a big difference for us. You know, talking about speed and lefty options that we have, I feel like that also makes the defense better because every day you're getting to go up against that type of speed and lefties that you know we're going to see when we get into SEC play. How big is that to have that type of speed at the plate and lefty options from a de defensive standpoint? Well, it makes practice a little bit easier when, when you're doing slap defense and um, instead of me running in circles or trying to hit from the right side. Um, but they really, um, you know, Aaliyah is so quick, you know, Carly uh, Henderson, they just, they make some things happen. Kylie Gleason, they're just making things happen and, and pushing our defense, being able to really read the ball off the bat at that angle uh, to understand where they need to be defensively makes a big difference for us. And I want to switch to kind of bigger picture for, for first year players. What is that big jump, the biggest jump that they have to make from high school to college when they're going out there and they're playing defense? What's and in, in your experience, what's the biggest jump that they have to make that maybe, you know, first comers they don't always get? The speed of the game. And, and that's at, at our level is uh, everything's a little bit quicker. The game doesn't change, your fundamentals. Um, so they have to be efficient in their movements. They can't take an extra step to go get a ball that they may be able to in high school to now it's, you know, one wrong little movement and that ball's by them. So um, we, we use a stopwatch and, you know, with our runners and everything, but the speed and um, the attention to detail in everything that they do uh, is tough for them because they've always just done it. And I've been good at what I do instead of understanding why I'm doing this, why my foot needs to move this way. And not over coaching, but just an overall understanding of where they need to be so that they're, they're more efficient in what they're doing. And something, you know, that we, we pride ourselves on as a defense is our ability to turn double plays. It's something we've been very good at since you've been here. What what goes into being good at turning double plays as far as wh what are you working on in practice? What does that look like t to be a team that's good at turning double plays? Well, I think that uh, we set ourselves up to turn double plays in every ball that's hit as opposed to some people go get the ball, then look to second, then throw it there. So our footwork is we're open to go to second each time. Um, they work on the efficiency of their transfer um, glove and hand. So we do that quite a bit um, just to understand there. And then understanding the speed of the hit. Um, if it's a bunt I have to go get, how long did it take me to go get it? And then that means I'm going to first base. But I also know how fast the runner is 
and um, it only took me two steps. I got it. I'm going to second without relying on somebody yelling to or yelling or, or anything to uh, make me turn a double play. So it has to be first nature is double play, second nature is go to first. And, and something that we've been over the years here is we have been a good defense. So for you, what is the difference in an okay defense and a good difference? Like what, what is that jump that you have to make from being a good defense as a team all together to being a good defense? I don't know if you watched some scrimmages, we were, we were uh, throwing the ball around. But to me, it's take care of the ball and control what we can control in terms of the ball's hit to me, I can make the play. I control my throw, I control how I field it. I can't control how fast it gets to me, uh, you know, in terms of, um, you know, what the field is or anything like that. So I control what I can and take care of it that way. Uh, understanding the game and it's a constant talk about where should I have gone, why did you go to first instead of to third on a play. Uh, and that constant conversation happens on the field and so that they understand it and then they're like, oh yeah, I could have gone to third or we show them video later and see how much time they had and they never looked. So um, difference between good and great is a little bit. And uh, so we just focus on what we can do and just stay in the moment of catching, throwing, um, you know, fielding and, and, you know, just we don't want to upset the pitchers. We want to do all they can, we can for them. So um, we just want to work our butts off for it. And I want to circle back a little bit to uh, the fall again. Uh, on the base pass, I see a lot of aggression out there. Uh, what kind of pressure can speed put on the opponents when you're on the bases? Because I see us taking a lot of bases, a lot of extra bases, stealing bases, uh, bunting, looking to be aggressive. What kind of pressure does that put on an opponent? Well, it, it puts a lot of pressure on them. And if they're more focused on the hard turnaround of base, uh, you know, looking that the person's taking the next base, maybe they take their eye off the ball for a, a tenth of a second. If we're stealing and it's a, you know, hit and run, shortstop might leave early. So now we got first and second as opposed to getting thrown out at second. So it, it helps us so much uh, to be aggressive, to have that speed, you know, like you talked about before, was just that natural speed to go from first to third. So that just, um, if we do our job of focus on the ball and, and take care of it is no problem, but offensively we want to run, run, run and, and make them throw us out and make them do what they need to, uh, but we're gonna push the envelope. I'm gonna transition into, we just had a, a big day this week with signing uh, signing day with five newcomers coming in next year. Can you give us a little bit about what's expected out of this signing class? Uh, I'm excited. You know, it's two infielders and uh, two or three catchers, so it, it gives us depth all the way around, and all the catchers can play other positions. So it it just adds to our depth in general. I don't think you're ever going to replace the class that we're going to lose, but. Um, they just they provide some great experience with the two kids from California. Our two kids from Georgia are you know on one of the top teams out of Georgia, and then our, our kid from Florida, um, Julia is uh, she's just a little goofball, you know, uh, small kid. You wouldn't expect much from her, but she can catch like a son of a gun. And to wrap it up, you kind of talked about this this class here that we we're about to lose with uh, KK and Kinsey, McKenzie, and Lauren. What, what has this group as a whole meant to this program? They, I've been real close with them, of course, because I have the two infielders. Um, this year I've, I've taken over a little bit more with the outfield, so getting to know Stu, uh, you know, inside and out on a daily basis. Uh, KK's KK, and we've all known her since she was in eighth grade, and she's as funny as can be. But it's just tough when you – every year when you lose a class because they are a part of you every day for four years or five years and um, not seeing them each day makes it just a little bit different but um, you know that's a part of coaching and you just kind of move on but they they've done an outstanding job and just to watch them grow and uh, mature uh, they've just been a lot of fun and a lot i'm going to ask one more if we get out here um you know we're, we're in individuals right now and then uh come thanksgiving break the team's going to go home uh won't be back until january so for you as a coaching staff what are you guys working on um uh, from you know got a long little break here about about two months or so until the team comes back so as a coaching staff what are you guys going to be working on 
Well, our job never stops, and, and I don't think it changes any. Uh, we begin our scouting and uh, that process in terms of knowing what other teams have and kind of little paperwork that we need to do to get ready for the season. And, uh, you know, nothing really changes for us. All righty, Coach, I really appreciate your time, and uh, we'll see you again in the spring. All right, thank you.